Just how did the whole thing come together for Threads? Actually, um, I moved to Winnipeg a year ago, so I'm quite new in the city. But uh, from the first day, I, I was amazed about the talent that there is in Winnipeg. It feels like uh, everyone in Winnipeg has an artist inside. So uh, after a year, basically, I was kind of like doing networking, kind of like connecting with a lot of people. And one day, I met Nereo and Nikki. And I was like, wow, you know, <laughs> these guys are awesome. You know, it's like Nereo especially, you know, it's like a all-around artist, uh, a guy that is able to to do pretty much everything, you know, like from a filmmaker, a photographer, painter, a dancer. So basically it's like I really want to do an event with this guy. So we sit down, we have a glass of wine, we start talking and uh, little by little like we got into a conversation, it's like why don't we get as many artists as we can involved? Why don't we create something in this amazing venue as a graffiti gallery and bring it alive for a night. So we basically uh, start like getting into the project and pretty much every day someone wanted to get involved. So by the end of uh, three days of work, pretty much we come up with idea of threats and you know, pretty much uh, we will see the result this Friday. And, and uh, say, um, what do you think is the main difference between say a multi uh, disciplinary and show where you have hairdressers and and dancers and painters and all that as opposed to just a straight painting show what do you find is say a key difference the key difference uh, first of all is um, for the audience as well you know it's like what we want is someone to be impressed uh, we want to impress them for different kind of point of views you know it's like we want to impress them because the style of the clothing is beautiful we want to impress them because you know, it's, it's not just the designers or the painters, even the people that is going to be taking photography, they are artists. People that are going to be making the video of the night, is, they are artists as well. People that are going to light up the place with the perfect lighting, they are, that's art, you know. So we want to make sure that we take care of all the details, that it's going to be a full experience, that uh, there is going to be a lot of unexpected things. So only people that come that night is going to explore. And uh, we are sorry, you know, it's like we wish we could uh, bring more people in. We are sold out and I got about like 90 messages today saying like, how can I get a ticket? And we can't uh, sell any more. Uh, so we are happy in one way because people are supporting. We are sad in another way because a lot of people are not going to be able to come. But we will try to make really nice pictures, really nice video to try to share that experience with everyone. On that note, uh, do you see this as a viable thing to do uh, once or twice a year, making it an annual event or a yeah. semi-annual event? Definitely. Or? You know, it's, uh, I think that it would be something that we would like to try to make bigger and bigger every time. Uh, I'm pretty sure that after all the media support and after all the uh, kind of like pictures and all the everything that we're gonna get from this show I'm gonna be able to find a sponsor so with this sponsor what we will uh, as a team could be like try to make this even more spectacular right so as a first big production in Winnipeg is a good start especially because we have no budget uh, we are doing all of this as volunteers. So as soon as we get a main sponsor, uh, as soon as uh, the media keep like supporting our project, I think that it will be something that, you know, little by little it will be like a at least annual thing, and for sure like we will try to keep it like two three times per year. Uh, and how how do you find the graffiti gallery as a as a venue for something like this? I absolutely love it. You know, in Madrid, it's really difficult to. I'm from Madrid, so mm. it's really difficult to find like these kind of like underground uh, places. You know, and uh, especially like really affordable and willing to get involved in like events like this. So for me, as a foreigner to come to Winnipeg, I've found like a space like this is uh, amazing and I would like to support that as much as I can because I think that you guys are doing an amazing job. Uh, so, some people don't realize how much you guys are helping other people and how much you are helping other artists to have an opportunity and this is the kind of places that I want to support and we will try to uh, do as much promo as we can of uh, Graffiti Art Gallery during these days as well as to try to make 
uh, try to organize more events here in the Seem, future. Seems like the graffiti gallery too, people don't just put paintings on the walls, they actually paint the walls and they paint the floors and everything. It seems like the space brings that out of people. That's what I mean, you know, it's like after all this work, these guys are painting the walls for seven days on a road and this is going to be a wall that maybe one week after the event is going to be painting white again so it's like oh my god it's like why all this work is but this is kind of like the special thing about threads you know is the the way that they are actually uh, sharing all this uh, work and um, and only the people that come to the event is going to be able to uh, is going to be able to enjoy it yes. it's going to be able to see it in life so yeah basically pretty much you know, it's okay. a one-time experience. Perfect. <laughs> so maybe just tell me uh, what, uh, how this project got going. Threads started off with an idea uh, that actually came from Arturo. He approached Nario and I to co-create co an event with him that was going to focus on the Winnipeg art scene. So he really wanted to kind of handle the production side of things and he found Nario and I to do the creative sort of production of the event. and. Yeah, so he was really the front runner on the whole thing, and we've been collaborating very effortlessly. Actually, we're I think, I think we're a really good team. Cool. So he approached you on it. Totally. It was it, this. This came out of out of Arturo. He moved here from Madrid, um, and he's been endlessly impressed by the Winnipeg art scene, and really wanted to shine a spotlight on that. And when he found the work that I've been doing and the work that Nario has been doing, he thought, "Wow, if we get all of us together, we can really do something special." So. Yeah, that's what's happening. And what is your uh, what what do you what's your role in the production? My role so far has been to generate uh, the social media side of things, make sure the Eventbrite tickets were on sale, doing a lot of the media interviews, which I love doing, uh, getting the creative side sort of brewing with Nario and promoting the event, getting people here, and I think my biggest job will be on the dance floor. <laughs> mm. nice, nice, nice. Just keeping things fun, keeping things light. Uh, and just tell me a bit about the what uh, motivated you guys to the multidisciplinary thing. Like how how do you how does that uh, what is what interest is there for you on that? I think it's really cool when you start to grab. For me, what's interesting about this project is the the creative process. So bringing all of these different disciplines into one room, whether it's the fashion and the hair, or the painting, or the poetry, or the dance, the idea that things are being creative created as we're there and witnessing it, like that's where all the gold is. Being able to witness an artist creative process is really exciting. So the fact that we get to do that from all of these different disciplines is going to be magic. And I, and I obviously the artists feed off each other in the different disciplines. And they'll feed off of each other but they'll also feed off the crowd. So the whole thing is going to be a co-collaboration. So the people who are smart enough to get tickets on time are going to be a part of the art. And the idea, it's not the typical art show where you stand around sipping wine and chatting quietly with your friends. This is a, this is a party. This is a celebration of art and everyone's a part of it. Cool. And do you, do you hope that you see more shows like this where it's, you know, are different artists of different disciplines collaborating with each other? Absolutely. I think Winnipeg has so much talent. I always say Winnipeg is small, but our talent is huge. So I think there's lots of room for future events like this. Cool. And now, uh, last question. Uh, and how do you feel... Where does the Graffiti Gallery come into all this, do you think? The Graffiti Gallery is iconic in the city of Winnipeg. I feel so much loyalty to this gallery, and I know that Steve and Pat are doing an amazing job running things around here, and they're in it for the art, and they're in it for the community, and those are two things that I strongly believe in as well, so the fact that we get to actually collaborate with the gallery and graffiti art programming on this project is just that much more special. Oh, any last words uh, about the show? Um... No, I'm just really excited. I think it's going to be super fun. I think, you know, life is meant to be celebrated and this is going to be an opportunity to do that with my community and to shine a spotlight on the people who are always working really hard at their craft and that's what it's about is like shining the spotlight on our city. So uh, a few months ago when um, we held a, a show for the New Year's, um, uh, Nikki Trotsky of Love Life Productions threw a New Year's theme party. It was an underground theme party, and it was something out of the norm, not your regular kind of party um, that people really enjoyed, and there was a lot of great feedback. And one of the attendees was Arturo Orlana, who um, has, in the last year, 
been doing a lot of event planning for the city. He came from Spain and he came to Winnipeg and thought, wow, what an amazing playground and what amazing talent we have here. And so he, he, he was impressed by Nikki's event and then a month later I threw a, a, a documentary screening at the Goodwill which he also attended and was very well impressed with. So the idea clicked in and he thought, okay, well, why don't I collaborate with these two artists and let's see what we can come up with. So we organized the meeting and visualized all the potentials and we came up with threads. Um, it's a, like a, I guess a pre-game celebration to what other events we can do in the future. And for this show, we thought, why don't we bring everybody together? You know, like this idea of these are my people and this is my circle. Let's kill that uh, that that uh, I idea that we all belong to one particular circle and expand on the idea and bring all our circles together so that we can all realize that all we're all part of one circle. So um, I'm bringing all the familiars that I know and that I love and all the inspirations that I know and coupling it with all the inspirations that Arturo knows and, and, and Nikki. So we're, we're getting the best of all three worlds. And, and, and again, that's, we're, we're just celebrating the idea of one world and one community and being in one space. So the idea for the show is that we're going to have um, a visual arts exhibition featuring seven. We went down to seven. Gabrielle Funk couldn't make it to a busy schedule, which is totally fine, lover and supporter. Um, seven visual artists, um, a, a few dancers that are going to be collaborating with the mural artists, so they will be part, they'll be mounted on the wall, and then come alive once the, the live band comes. So we've got an improv band. Um, they play all kinds of music, but I think for the night was, you know, around the hip-hop, jazz, funk, soul type of uh, vibe. And um, we have a fashion show from two local designers, Leonard Taylor and Greg Blagowiv. Greg has been part of the city for a very long time as well. He used to ha have a company called Snug. It was very popular back in the 90s. Um, what else do we have? We have, uh, there was a, 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 there is going to be a guest cocktail maker. and. You know, it didn't occur to me that that is also an artistry, and he said, I, I really want people to appreciate this as an art form. So, it's definitely a learning experience for everybody, and it's, it's a perfect place for people to exchange ideas, exchange their individuality, and express themselves. And I've always said that I, I, I love going to events where people um, care more about expression and true expression rather than trying to impress people. You know, it's that sometimes I go into a club and, and you instantly feel that the energy is off and you feel like people are trying too hard to impress the people and like, there's this facade that um, you don't get that opportunity to really vibe with the person because they're not open. And I would like to, to encourage that in this space and Graffiti Gallery is perfect for that, you know, it's, it's a, a very special place to me. Um, I've been coming here since I was 18 years old and I've been dropping in, you know, when I first dropped in you go in the walls and kids would drop in and just tag up the wall because it was a safe haven for them and I know over the years it's evolved into becoming, um, in order to sustain it had to make some, some changes which a lot of graffiti writers didn't understand, um, you know, there's, there's all these talk about the gallery is not a good place but you know they haven't taken the time to really understand how the logistics work and, and so I think having the balance of of having the space to be creative and then also understand how how it's it is to work within a system that's important and so that's it's, it's also kind of uh, what this show represents you know is um, understanding the life of the artist and, and what goes behind it because people are, are always mesmerized by dancers and they say oh I, I wish I could do that and it looks so easy and um, you get to be free and all this but you know it's it's a tough gig at the same time we make a lot of sacrifices to do what we love um, 
and uh, I don't know what else to say about the event, but I'm, I'm excited for it and I'm very honored to be uh, in this position. Um, I feel like uh, there is no ego involved, you know, it's all love and it's all, I, don't, I see everyone as an equal and, and not, um, you know, I believe in differences, I don't believe in better and I think that's why everyone that I've worked with thus far has, has been great.